Hello everybody, this is CB Smallwood and you're watching 100 Days of Making Comics where for every day or every other day I'll be writing, drawing, inking, lettering, coloring, whatever, doing something to further my goals to becoming a comic book artist to hopefully get a, a good portfolio together and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully maybe get a comic book done within 100 days. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see how it goes. So. Uh, in the last episode, the big uh, 30 minute plus episode, and I recommend that you, you watch it if you haven't seen it because uh, what I showed in it was I went through the 10 or 11 pages that I had uh, drawn up to this point and I showed you you know everything that was in them and my thoughts behind everything that I did and stuff I still need to work on. I also showed a few of the uh, sketches for the next couple pages, uh, here's one. This is a uh, fight scene with uh, Wildcat and the uh, the bad man. And now I'm in the process of you know fleshing everything out. Um, you know, some things a little unproportionate. I don't know. I may, I may just roll with it anyway because uh, uh, I need to start getting stuff finished. I can make up for it by doing maybe something more awesome on the next page. Or I could always go back and, you know, that's what a eraser's for, so. Uh, took a sip of my Pepsi. So, anyway, um, my goal with this episode is to keep it short. Um, since I did the big 30 minute monster. I've been doing um, some research for those of you that likes, would like to know. You know, if there's somebody that's wanting to uh, get into comics, you know, draw comics for a living and have your stuff published if you got like creator owned material. And I've looked at both Image and Alterna Comics. And I'm really high on Alterna Comics right now. I've not talked to the, to the publisher or the, the guy who owns the company. That, that man is a brilliant man. He really is. Um, I've sung enough of his, his and Alterna Comics' praises uh, quite a bit, so I'm not going to do that here. But um, what I am going to do is I want to talk about something that, that I found out or I looked into just a little bit more. I've not talked to nobody, but I just kind of researched stuff just a little bit. Now, if... You get a job at, not a job, but uh, if you get a spot on Alterna Comics or Image Comics, and you got your own creator own character, cre creator own character, right? And um, you're ready to get published, and you know, you submitted and you're approved, and everything's all set to go. You've got your creative team. Uh, more than likely, if you're like me, you know, uh, maybe you can color a little bit, but you're not that confident to do it on your own book. And um, I mean, there's like a whole host of slew of things that needs to be done to make a comic book happen, you know. And not everybody is is multi talented or, or has an interest in being multi talented, you know. And so you end up hiring people, uh, colorists and letterers or inkers and or maybe you're a writer and you hire an artist and then the rest of the guys. I mean, you, you see what I'm saying, right? Well, all right. So why is this relevant? Well, it's relevant because if you get on an image, if you get on at Alterna Comics, here's how they pay you, okay? Um, you don't get page rates. You know, you don't get paid per page. And I never expected that anyway. Uh, I think most people don't really expect that because... They're not your typical uh, publishers, you know, like Marvel or DC, you know. They're not paying you, they're not commissioning you to do work on their books. They're wanting you to do, you know, to do you, to do your book, and they're going to print it. So, 
the way they pay you is uh, qu quarterly. Now, what does that mean, quarterly? Well, <clears throat> every two to three months, maybe a little bit more, but every two to three months, they'll cut you a check or whatever for however much your your book has sold. Now, I don't know if if they're including the, the, the two or three issues that you've made within those two or three months as a lump sum, or if they're just going to pay you for that first issue that you did, and then you have to wait another three or four months before you pay for the next issue. I don't know. I'm not for sure how that works. I would imagine that every three or four months they're going to pay you for every single issue that was sold within that three or four month span, right? That's my assumption. I don't know that for a fact. Now, here's where the problem comes in. So you go and draw the first issue. You pay your colorist. You pay your letterer. You, you pay all these different people, right? And it runs into a lot of money. Uh, like... You're, you're lucky to even get a colorist to, to agree to color a comic book for uh, $30 per page. And so that runs into several hundred dollars. Now, some people may uh, want to get into artist rights and, and all this other stuff, but like, you know, if, if you're a small publisher, if you're just a guy who has a dream to be a comic artist, comic writer, whatever, and you're just trying to get started, then that that money to pay these you know people that want to want 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 a chance at the big time too comes out of your pocket. It comes, you know, out of your day job money. You know, working at Pizza Hut or work <laughs> working security or whatever whatever it is that you do for a living, right? Working at a warehouse. And you know, sometimes people lose sight of that. You know, on some of these um, groups and and. On Facebook you know they often bicker about pay but when you're first starting out you know you, you're not going to make Marvel money or DC money and even though uh, $30 per page is not a lot of money um, it is to somebody who is self-publishing and, and just now getting started so anyway uh, the point of this video is not to argue the merits or for or against that my point is in making this in, in in the middle of this video is that you're not going to get paid if you go to image if you go to alterna you're not going to get paid for your very first issue that you got published until like three or four months into publishing that first issue so like that means you're going to have to find ways to conjure up money to pay for the second and third issue you know, to pay your creative team with money that you don't have because you already probably broke the bank broke <laughs> broke the bank on um, getting the first issue done. So that's that's a bit of a hmm, it's a bit of a problem, you know. Not that it can't be overcome, you know. But some people may argue like, uh, why not do a Kickstarter? Well, that that is an idea. It really is. <sighs> but, you know, if you do a Kickstarter for the first issue, uh, will you be able to conjure up more funds for the next two two issues until, you know, you get your sales back from Alterna or Image? I don't know. That's something to think about, though, you know? Well, anyway... I think uh, that's. I like to hear everybody's thoughts on that, uh, and, and people's uh, thoughts on being published by other publishers or self-publishing and stuff like that. Um, I know uh, Fway, uh, Fway Storm. He he uh, self-publishes, and I, and I think a couple of, uh, of of the rest of you do too. You know. But it's, it, it seems to me like it's just so much easier to get published through somebody else. But at the same time, after you get through the hurdles of actually getting approved, uh, God, you know, 
then it's like you know getting that money toward to you you know I've read some horror stories about people who's been you know who are actually published through image comics but they barely make ends meet you know is that a is that an image problem is it their problem I mean maybe it's a little bit of both who knows I don't know but it's something to think about um, but anyway I'm going to wrap this uh, episode up. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to uh, watch my stuff. If you uh, enjoyed this video, then uh, please remember to uh, smash that upvote button, that like button. Send it into the stratosphere because uh, the more I get of these bad boys, the more likely I am to do more videos. And... Um, as always, please remember to uh, subscribe and follow if you want to see more stuff from me. This is CB Smallwood, and you've been watching 100 Days of Making Comics, right on the 11-minute mark.